In one of our previous videos, we talked about the nervous system being plastic, meaning that it can change over time with experience. This is another very sad situation, but we can have things called strokes, which are little blood clots that happen in the brain. And when blood clots happen in the brain, then that is bad because it's going to block the delivery of nutrients, of oxygen, of glucose to your brain cells, which can cause part of the brain to get deprived of what it needs to actually stay alive. And so as a result, no cell respiration can happen as a result of no oxygen and glucose. And then you end up with damaged or dead neurons. Damaged or dead neurons, that's not a good thing. That means you start to lose brain function. But one of the most amazing things is that in a lot of stroke victims, we find that parts of the brain, other parts of the brain, actually start to take on new functions. There's a lot of good books about this stuff if you're really interested in learning about special scenarios where patients who've had all kinds of issues, actually this will come up in one of the later units as well too, in one of the future videos, but there are a lot of patients who have had brain injuries or have had strokes or have had actual bars being shoved through their brain and then people have observed all kinds of strange behaviors or they start to experience different types of hallucinations or complete changes in emotions. So the brain can actually be very plastic in helping people to relearn lost abilities through speech, regaining spatial awareness and other things as well too. So once again, this demonstrates the plasticity of the brain.